This segment brought to you by Heinen Brothers Ag. Farmers helping farmers by offering quality aerial and ground application, fertilizer, ag chemicals, and anhydrous ammonia. Call today to protect your crop yield. So what happened on soybeans across, I mean, the state of Kansas, I mean, soybeans are reaching to, I mean, the, the end of the season. We are reaching to, uh, this, I mean, grain filling. So what is the term of a grain filling? Grain filling means that at this time, most of the pots, I mean, most of the soybeans around the state, they already have sent, set the pots. So we already have the pots in the plan, and if we are taking a look to the pot numbers, we already probably have a very good estimation about what will be our final number before harvest. So what is the main factor that will be affected from now until harvest is the seed weight. And this is one of the critical components. When you're looking at seed weight on soybeans, it's quite different than we are comparing to corn. Seed weights on soybean can add 10 to 20 bushels in some situations. So when you're looking at defining the final yield for soybean, seed weight is a critical factor. And at this point, as I mentioned before, we already set pots across the states. Most of the soybeans are getting to the grain filling. And, and the question that we have from farmers is, is it at this point, if they have any heat or drought, is that impacting yields? And the answer is yes. And for soybean, this is a critical moment also. I mean, those soybeans are still taking up one to two inches of water per week, okay? So lack of rain in the last weeks, and then these uh, weather conditions that they maybe probably are above 95 degrees in some days, those are complicating soybeans. And the point is that they probably are shortening the season. So, so what is the idea of shortening season? Means that we have less days for those plants to put more carbon into the grains and to increase yields. So if that situation happened, what we will see is that the yield will be impacted. Some of the things that you will be seeing in your farms is that if you walk in the fields, you will see in some of the pots that they may probably have two grains rather than three, or they may have the number third on the tip, but it's probably missing, or it's probably very small. That is a very common symptom of a drought and heat combination, I mean, situations. So that's something that we need to be scouting for Another thing is that at this point, as you are seeing on this crop, we are at the moment that we are losing the leaf. So there is a situation in the crop at the moment that is basically we are losing the leaf and the leaf is the main organ that is providing all the sugars to fulfill the grain filling. So this is a moment that, as I mentioned before, any stress impacting the crop can reduce yields, I mean, in approximately 20 to 25%, okay? And then one of the things that we are seeing is in some environments that we are reaching already harvest, we are seeing issues of green stems, okay? And that's something that we already talked about this last year in the previous growing season. The question that the farmers they have is, why I'm seeing that kind of a green stems on soybeans? The answer for that is like, there is an, an, an imbalance situation. So we are seeing that the soybean plant is reaching to the end of the season, but the weather conditions are still maybe favorable. And we are seeing that the sugar accumulation in the stem is still promoting that that stem is remaining green. One of the main key advice for soybean farmers before getting into harvest, take a look to your field, make sure that we don't have any disease, any insects, I mean, affecting the field. Take a look to the stems. If the stems are green, make sure that you are, I mean, the main prevention, I mean, for, I mean, for green stems is to make sure that we have all our combines and the blades on the combines are very sharpened, okay? Because Going slow and then just harvest, harvest that crop is probably the best solution. We have situations that people asking about if we need to use any desiccants, and then the answer for that is like most of the times I will say no, okay? So make sure that you, I mean, at this point we need to be a little bit patient uh, and going slow, trying to get the crop out of the field is probably the best solution, I mean, uh, for all the soybean farmers. Now another gardening tip with Annette Jackson. Fall is a great time to plant trees, shrubs, and perennials. Root development this fall means more growth with less watering next year. For faster root growth, always use Fertilone Root Stimulator. It is the only stimulator which contains IBA rooting hormone. Use Fertilone tree and shrub food after the plant has been planted for a month. Save 25% now on Jackson's homegrown hardy perennials. Let Jackson's friendly staff help you select the best plants for your landscape. 